to you about the stars? Yeah, I mean, they're just a really solid team uh, all throughout, and they've obviously been playing some really good hockey. They don't make it easy on you, so uh, it'll be another really good test and challenge for us tonight. How was, how was doing the Pat McAfee show, and where do you think hockey sits in terms of how much it's getting promoted in, in the States? Yeah, it was cool. I mean, um, you know, obviously, uh, I'm a football fan, so I like to watch, and uh, so it was cool to be on it. And, um, you know, I think there's obviously a... Uh, you know, you can see it trying, you know, the NHL, ESPN, everybody trying to kind of, um, you know, promote the game, grow the game, and uh, reach out to, uh, you know, I guess just different levels of, um, you know, just spreading the game all around. So, uh, I mean, I think that part's important for for us and for the NHL just to continue to uh, to evolve and grow in that regard. They're starting at Whitewood rather than Ottinger. Is that... Got any radar? Do you spend much time thinking about who you're facing in the other net heading into a game? Uh, I mean, a little bit, but um, you know, I think you just look at their team as a whole and the way that they've been playing. Um, you know, I don't think it really matters who's in that for them. They they play the same way every night. They play hard and they make it difficult on the opposing team. So um, you know, regardless of who's in that, it'll be a good challenge for us. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, they make it tough uh, to get into to scoring zones and create opportunities offensively. And so um, we'll just have to be ready for that to try to break them down. How have you felt about the line five on five in terms of trying to generate offense? Um, yeah, I mean, I think. Uh, you know, it's still a bit, uh, you know, it feels a little bit disconnected at times, but I think there's also some, some really good moments that we've had, but I think just uh, wanting to have more overall consistency in, at five on five is important, and you know, we're just going to continue to work and continue to try to, uh, to bring that. So, um, yeah, lots of good, some, some obviously stuff you'd like to clean up and, and be better at, but um, you know, I think we'd just like to continue to progress. What, have, what stood out most to you about Ollinger and your time with him? Um, yeah, I mean, um, you know, I was around him for one year, but uh, I mean, him and Wooler I've gotten to know, and um, you know, different personalities, but both uh, extremely focused and have such a just calm, cool demeanor in the net. Nothing really seems to to rattle them, and um, you know, he's obviously. Uh, you know, found a really good place here and has been playing really well for them. And, um, you know, he's a great goalie. He's a really good, good guy, too. So, um, you know, it's been fun to see his success. And, um, yeah. Have you felt at the dot this year the numbers are a bit down? Is that an early season kind of thing? Or uh, how are you feeling on faceoffs? Yeah, a little bit. I think just timing and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'd obviously like to be a little bit better in there and so we can start with the puck, especially offensive zone, uh, you know, starts and stuff like that. But um, I think it's mostly just timing. Awesome. Two guys in particular, uh, Rope Hintz and Miro Haskin, and how have you, what's your experience been like going against those two, and how have you seen them kind of develop throughout their careers? Yeah, I mean, they're great players. Um, you know, both of them can fly, and um, they really just come into their own, and, you know, they're always difficult guys to play against, and, um, and I think uh, both those guys have been big drivers for this team and uh, the success that they've had the last couple of years. With Haskin, like, a guys. defenseman who is kind of, a defenseman first as opposed to offense how kind of rare is that in the nhl in terms of you know prioritizing that and, and being good at that first well i mean he can do both pretty elite so um you know he obviously is really good at taking care of his own end but he's always uh jumping up in the rush always making things happen offensively and like i said just driving this team so